Hi everyone, it's Melanie from the Aquila Center for Cruise Excellence. I'm so excited today to be here with my friend Charlize Cruz from Fafodi Tours in Aruba. Charlize is, and her company is one of our ACE tour operators and they have recently, just this summer, started the cruise resumption in Aruba. And we are so excited for them and so excited that Charlize has agreed to sit down and share her experience with her and her team um, here with us today. So thank you Charlize for joining us. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Melanie. It's our pleasure. It's nice to see familiar faces. <laughs> oh, it is so nice to connect again. And tell us, what must it have been like this summer as that ship was getting ready, the days leading up and being there on that day? What was that like for you and your team after all these months? Our first ship was with Royal Caribbean on August the 3rd. We had like several meetings before the the the, the, the D-date, you know, and <laughs> everybody was nervous. Everybody was back in... um. Okay, what's this tour? What's the inclusions? Um, of course, with all the new protocols and all that. After a long, long time, everybody was nervous. And I told them that's good because when you're nervous, that means you're very well prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. And it means you care about the experience. And I'm sure your, your team was excited and caring oh, about that day excellent. going great. Excellent. My team was excellent. I need to say, I have, we have a great team. We have a great yeah. team. They, um, they're in love with this industry. They understand this industry. And for us, after a year, more than a year and a half to receive our first cruise ship, it was, you know, goosebumps. Honestly, yeah. it was very nice. Oh, I'm so happy. And we're so excited as operators who haven't experienced that yet. We're so excited to, to see that happening in other parts of the world. And how were the guests when they came? What was their reaction to the experiences in Aruba? You know, it was it was very for us. It was like like I say, overwhelmed of happiness, excited. The guests were happy as well because I was there. I was part of the operation that day, providing hand sanitizing, providing coordination, and um, the guests were happy to hear that they were our first guests to be on the on the on the bus tour on the UTV adventure. Um, um, it was excellent to welcome they say they feel so welcome it's something that our urban people we do have we are very appreciative of our guests of our people and um they, they saw that in us it was very nice to see they're very welcoming to the protocols you know that they need to do hand sanitizing at each stop you need to continue be sitting in the same seats you know um there's protocols not not easy but i mean it's for the good of everybody but they were just happy to be here in aruba and we were just super happy to have them here on the island. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet. And that's wonderful to hear that, uh, that they were well received, all of those new protocols, because I know that's something operators have been wondering about. So I'm, I'm happy yes, to hear We were that. lucky enough, Melanie, we were lucky enough in the sense of protocols. We, our company, our team, very well prepared because this was our first, um, our first cruise ship working with gas. But since last year, through um, one of the port agents in Aruba, we started working with the cruise ship since last year, July. Um, um, where you have crew because we do have some ships here docking on the on the island, just standing here. We had from Carnival Cruise Lines, from Royal Caribbean, from Norwegian Cruise Lines. We had um, several lines, and through the port agent, we were in charge of of bringing them to the airport, of bringing airport to the to the um, to the cruise ship. So for us, it was the perfect time to put all, all our protocols in, in practice, you know, uh, with the luggage, with the gas, with the um, hand sanitizing, with the social distancing. And um, it has been incredible experience to both to, to send them home because they were happy being a lot of months there of going oh. home to feel the happiness. And it was happy to see them coming back because yeah means you know there's there's a light in the horizon that you know things will start up soon so we have been working with the cruise lines um for a long period of time with protocols so in the sense of protocols it was kind of i don't want to see easy peasy but yes it was more easy for us to put in um um in practice because we have been doing already since last year 
Oh, excellent. That's great. And I know there's so much to prepare and so much to get ready for as we get ready for guests coming back on ships. Of all those things that you did do to prepare, Charlize, what would you say is the one thing that you feel made the biggest difference to having a successful day? What is the one thing when you were preparing your team and your operations that you thought, I'm so glad I did that? My team. Your team. Yeah. My team. I have, we have been, Esmer, um, Esmeralda, the whole team and I, we have been, it wasn't easy, no, it was not easy to prepare them with protocols, but why we need to do this, why we need to do that, uh, is, the, is the meetings, is the training we gave them, is the continued information, I was continuing sharing information, this is the update of the cruise ships, um, the cruise industry, I was always keep them in the loop with information, why it's important, what other islands are doing. Um, and at the end, it starts and ends with our team. Our team makes the, the big difference. Excellent. Oh, I love that. And I, I really, I couldn't agree more that that communication, especially when we're going through difficult times, communication is more important than ever. So that communication and that ongoing training so that people feel not just prepared, but also confident that they know what to do and that they can handle it. Because the most important is understand why you need to do something. Because yeah. some people, you need to do it, but if you don't explain why they need to do it, they will when you explain why and if you don't do it what are the consequences of it they will understand ba better and they will accept it they will embrace it uh, yes. better and then you have a better result coming out oh i couldn't agree more i think that's such a key is is understanding that why so tell me is there anything from the experience that surprised you or any lessons that you learned that you'd like to share with with other tour operators like i said good communication with your team good um, training, explain why, but the major, major also very important is very open um, relationship with your cruise line, with your shore excursion manager on board, because at the end is a team, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a chain of team because it starts with the, with the guests, with the shore excursion team on board to, to guide the guests. We need to continue the job on um, offshore and then bring them back there. So it, keep a good, don't be afraid to ask questions. And afterwards, what's the feedback? Don't be afraid of feedback. Don't be afraid of that you need to, to, um, to make something better. But because this is new for all of us. So we are in together. Don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to make mistakes because we learn from those mistakes. So have a very open relationship with your cruise ships um, manager, with your cruise lines, um, that's very, very important, important because it will help you in all, all sense. Excellent. That's great, great advice, I think. And we were speaking earlier and uh, talking about um, right now, especially in the industry, people being so supportive of each other. And you were telling me about the support that you really felt from the cruise line and the teams to being able to get up and running and how, how supportive they were of you. On behalf of the company, in behalf of our, our team, I really would like to send a, a special thank you to Royal Caribbean, as well as the Pan American Development Foundation. Um, they reached out to us. Our company name was given by Royal Caribbean, by um, the team there. You know, the pandemic brought very sad situation, but we need to say the pandemic brought a very good things out of a lot of people and companies and corporation. They make me cry because we didn't expect that they reached out to us ask us how they can assist. Our company name was um, given by Royal Caribbean, as I mentioned. So we have been back and forth. And um, last, last week we, we received the news, you know, we have decided we're going to assist you financially with this amount um, to help you with the cruise business. And um, it show us that out there you have great corporation, you have great companies. Um, um, I know sometimes they don't put us, of them put big corporation in the good lights, but believe me, they're out there, they're supporting each other. And one more time, the cruise industry shows the world again that they dare for each other on a small island, a small family business. I cannot even mention and say how thanks um, to Royal Caribbean and the Pan American Development Foundation for the assistance. Um, um, honestly, God bless them, honest. 
I, I think it's wonderful. And I think you're right that we've had so many challenges as an industry and so many operators and so many destinations, especially all through the Caribbean are, like you said, small businesses, family businesses, and the way people are stepping up to try to help each other through these times, it really shows what a special industry and a resilient industry the cruise industry is. You know, it's, it's amazing how this industry came together. It doesn't matter you're from Jamaica, you are from um, Belize, you were for, from Italy, it came together as one. Honestly, Melanie, I don't even have words to say the thanks to them. Um, um, if for us as a family, because we're a family business and as for all our team here, it's, 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 it's unbelievable, it's speechless actually. The, word, the, the only thing I can say thank you of all those not good things it give you and show you that there's good thing out there, good company. Every morning that you wake up, it gives you the push that you yes. need uh -huh. to go there and confront the day-by-day -day situation that you, you have with your business, with your industry, with the world, with this pandemic. Um, 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 it make it put a smile on your face. Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. And gives us hope and gives us that light. And you're giving that to the rest of us today, Charlize, by sharing your experience and seeing crews return in destinations like Aruba for all of us and other parts of the world who, who haven't had that experience yet and are getting ready for it. This gives us great and hope for the things to come. Yeah, be prepared. Make sure your destination is prepared. Be in communication. Communication is the key here. Communication with your team, communication with your cruise line, communication with your destination partner, with your cruise um, um, authorities, with your port authority, with your port agents. You know, it's, 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 it's a team. Be in contact. Like I said, don't be afraid. Ask questions, asking. Do mistakes. Make the mistakes now. You will learn from it. As long as you are open and to learn from the mistakes. And we, we support here. The cruise industry was one of the industries was hit the the worst in this case so we have a long way to go and the only way we can reach to the end of the tunnel is just staying together and working together like here on the island we 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 had like meetings things like that with other tour operators you know like other tour operators not you know you're not competitors you're sharing the markets but you came together to make sure as a destination as a as a cruise partners we all were ready because at the end, you represent your destination, not only your company, but your destination. Absolutely. Absolutely true. Well, I think you and your team and everyone in Aruba is doing a wonderful job at that. So thank you so much, Charlize. Thank you for joining us today. It's always wonderful to catch up with you. <laughs> And thank you everyone for joining us today. Remember to subscribe and have an Akeel amazing day. 